Well, the threat of a Columbine-style attack forced an East Bridgewater school into lockdown today. Now, the good news is that no one was hurt and nothing was found. But police say the threat came from an app that is meant to keep students safe. WBZ's Bill Shields is live for us in East Bridgewater tonight with more. Bill? Dave, a couple of weeks ago, the school administrators here in East Bridgewater got all the students together at the high school and said, here's this app we'd like you guys to get. It's free. It's called Stop It. And it's to identify bullying. But in this particular case, someone used that app to bully the entire school. Uh, the threatening message that referred to Columbine tragedy. That word alone was enough to send the school into lockdown. The kids at East Bridgewater High School and Middle School were locked in their rooms for two hours. We went through the entire school, not only uh, all of lockers, buildings, hallways, classrooms, but we went through each of the classrooms with students, searched bags. When the shelter in place was lifted, many parents came to get their kids. These days, even an anonymous threat is taken seriously. I mean, obviously, there's school shootings, like frequently now, right. but. Yeah. Uh, no, I never really thought about it happening in this area. I always say my prayers, um, but no, I don't think about it every day. The threat came through this app called Stop It. It's used to identify and stop bullying, but in this case, the person texting bullied an entire school. This is a day and age that everything is credible, and unfortunately, we have people that, that say things that may not, that are not credible, but we're still going to investigate them. Some kids we talked with are fed up with it all. And it's sad to say, and it's not just my school, it's just in society, like, in general. Kids tend to joke about this stuff, and it's, I find it sickening, personally. And they are still trying to figure out who this person was that texted that Columbine-style threat into the school. Reporting live from East Bridgewater, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Definitely disturbing, Bill. Thank you. The